The elementary teachers of Toronto today called on the Ford government to address issues of overcrowding in classrooms, lack of resources for vulnerable children and health and safety concerns. They say the government has the money to do it after they reportedly underspent in education. This government is withholding the funding and the supports our students and our teachers need. The Ford government's education spending was $413 million below budget, according to Ontario's budget watchdog. The only increase in education spending was $371 million for its catch-up payments program, a one-time $200 payment to parents. The government is also holding on to $4.1 billion in unallocated funds. Where is that money? Why can we not invest in our students, in our children? Doug Ford and Stephen Lecce continue to starve our schools while its government runs a surplus and cozies up to private interest. The elementary teachers of Toronto say classrooms are far larger than they should be. Schools lack supports for the most vulnerable children. Health and safety concerns are affecting in-class learning. And the working conditions of teachers as well as learning conditions of students are in jeopardy. The funding cuts to public education have left us really scrambling to support our students. My school has one education assistant to support dozens of students. And some Toronto schools must heavily rely on volunteers. We don't have funding for a full-time librarian, so we have a volunteer in our library. In a statement, the Ministry of Education tells us in part there is no government in Ontario history that has invested more in public education, with over $650 million more for the current school year alone. Since we came to office in 2018, we have hired over 7,000 additional education workers and teachers. Teachers' unions are celebrating a win after a court struck down the province's wage restraint law this week, calling it unconstitutional. Bill 124 capped raises at 1% annually, but the government has already said it plans on appealing the decision. How about instead of spending all that money on court challenges, the government puts it back into the education system? I have seen passionate and caring staff leave this field far too many times over the last few years. The Elementary Teachers Federation of Ontario is in a bargaining year. Meanwhile, QP education workers who held a province-wide strike last month after the government attempted to use the notwithstanding clause and impose a contract on them will conclude a ratification vote at the end of this weekend. The results of that will be released on Monday. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdani.